as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future. These are the hands that will hold and comfort you in grief and uncertainty. These are the hands that will countless times wipe tears of sorrow and joy from your eyes. These are the hands that will give you strength these are the hands that even when wrinkled and aged will still reach for yours, still give you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. You've known each other from first glance to this point of commitment. At some point, you decided to marry. From that moment of yes to this moment of yes, you've been making promises and agreements in an informal way. All those conversations while riding in a car, over a meal, or during long walks, 
all those sentences that began with when we're married. Those sentences continued with, you will, I will, and we will. The late night talks that included someday, somehow, and maybe. All the promises that are unspoken matters of the heart, all these things and more are the real process of a wedding. The symbolic vows you're about to make are a way of saying to one another, all those things we promised, hoped, and dreamed, I meant it all, every word. Rachel and Bob have written their own vows, so I'm going to ask that Bob begin with his. I know, I know. They can hear you. <laughs> you take Rachel to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold, in sickness and health, for richer or poor, and holding yourself only unto her as long as you both shall live. Do. Rachel, do you take Robert to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold, in sickness and health, for richer or poor, and holding yourself only unto him as long as you both shall live? Wedding rings are an uncircled broken of love, signifying to all the union of this couple, Rachel and Robert, in marriage. May you please present the rings. He's got it, I promise. <laughs> all right, Bob. I want you to take Rachel's left hand Place your gift of eternal love on her finger and repeat after me. Rachel, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and commitment to you. With this ring, I be wed. All right, Rachel, take, take Bob's left hand and place your gift of eternal love on his finger and repeat after me. Robert, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and commitment to you. With this ring, I be wed. All right, the final act of this ceremony is the shattering of the glass. So I'll need the glass. <coughs> We're going to get the glass. This is great. It's, you know, it's nice to have a wedding that isn't exactly perfect because just like the two of you, nobody's perfect. And it, it didn't ruin anything. It just gave us all a little time to laugh. Well, you're going to bust that thing, aren't you? I'm going to stand back. We have a smaller one if you'd like. You want a smaller one? <laughs> Bob 
All right, I'll explain this custom. It has many traditions with many interpretations. Today, the fragility of the glass suggests the frailty of human relationships. Before you both walk down the aisle, you are different than you will be at the end of this ceremony. Just as permanent and vital as the breaking of this glass is unchangeable, for it cannot go back to the way it was. The glass is broken to signify the change you have both just made, and also to protect this marriage. May your bond of love be as difficult to break as it would be to put back the pieces of glass. Knowing that this marriage is permanent, Rachel and Robert should strive every day to show each other love, respect, and happiness. Rachel, you place the glass on the floor between the two of you, and you've already taken Bob's hand, so that's great. Bob is going to stomp on the glass, and after he breaks the glass, I want everyone here to shout congratulations. I'm stepping back. It'll break. Give it. Try it again. I think we might need that smaller one. Should have put a crack in it. We're, we're getting a smaller one. This is quite a glass. to encourage you. Remember, being a bride and groom is only for a day, but being a husband and wife is a lifetime commitment. Let your love be stronger than your anger. A marriage without compromise is guaranteed conflict. Believe the best of your beloved rather than the worst. Confide in your partner and ask for help when you need it. Remember that true friendship is the basis for any lasting relationship. Give your spouse the same courtesies and kindness you bestow on your friends. Don't forget to say I love you every day, every day. May life grant you patience, tolerance, and understanding. And now, as you enter the greatest journey of your life, Inasmuch as you all have agreed to enter the marriage relationship, having exchanged vows with sincere and devoted hearts, have given and received rings as tokens of your love, the time has come and you guys did it. You're going to be great. It's my honor and privilege to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Ellsworth. City singers singing about how they can love deeper than the oceans, higher than the stars above. Well, I come from the country and I know I ain't seen it all, but I heard that ocean salty and the stars they sometimes fall, and that would not do justice. To the way I feel for you So I had to sing a song About all the things I knew My love is deeper than the holler Stronger than the river Higher than the pine trees Growing tall upon the hill My love is purer than the snowflakes That fall Honest as a robin on a springtime windowsill 
longer than the song of a whippoorwill. From the back roads to the Broadway shows with a million miles between.